What's up team legends, Matt Ogus checking in. Ever since I released my video of my workout routine right over there, you guys have been wondering what kind of yoga I do. So here is a video going over the different yoga poses, yoga stretches that I do as part of my 25 minute routine. I do this routine once or twice a week, usually twice a week, the day before my off days. So for me, Tuesdays and Saturdays. So it's a so it's a pretty long routine. So I'm going to fast forward through some of the repetitive parts and kind of explain, go over uh, the new poses, the new stretches as we uh, get to them in this video. Uh, if you want more information or you actually want uh, the routine that I do, it's this DVD from uh, Rodney Yee called Power Yoga, Strength and Flexibility. And I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys to find that. Uh, it'll be my Amazon store. So, hope you enjoy this yoga routine. Try out some of the stretches and poses for yourself. First thing I like to say is I really do like this DVD. Um, the visual and the audio is perfect. It goes over very clearly each pose, each stretch. Um, and it's very easy to follow as a beginner. So, I definitely recommend it. I've been using it for three to four years, off and on. I wish I'd been going straight uh, on the whole time. But, you know how it goes. I started off with one of the repetitive motions of this DVD, which is the uh, mountain pose, he calls it, which was where you bring your hands above your head, like so, into the uh, forward lean, which is also one of the most common common poses that you will be doing. I'm um, working my way down to a eventually an upward dog. So right there, that's, I guess, the cobra position, to the upward dog right here, which is a very common uh, yoga stretch and it's done again and again and again in this DVD and then to the downward dog right here which uh, is done again and again and uh, you're stretching out your hamstrings your calves lower back your entire back and uh, supporting yourself with your arms and your shoulders um, over the course of doing this routine um, the session itself and um, from session to session, you'll notice that your your flexibility increases and increases and increases over time. And as you can see, another uh, hands overhead mountain pose, and then again, and I will take this down to another forward lean. Um, you're constantly stretching your posterior chain again and again and again, as you can see. And once again, I'm working my way to the upward dog, to the downward dog. And on the upward dog, just the toes and hands on the ground, if you can. And obviously, same for the downward dog. And over time, you'll notice your back will get more and more flexible and more and more straight. Now here I'm flexing or I'm stretching my calves for just a little bit. Now, as I'm fast forwarding this, you'll notice that between every set of new you know, poses and stretches, I'm doing a forward bend, I'm doing the mountain pose twice, and then back to the ground for an upward dog, and then holding the downward dog for a good amount of time. Here we go, on to a new pose, which is basically a hamstring stretch, where you try to keep your leg as straight as possible with a bent torso, uh, leaning forward, hands on the ground. You do this for each side, trying to keep that back as straight as possible, but obviously here it looks like I have some sort of horrible lower back issue, which I actually sort of do with that recovering hamstring. I filmed this a few weeks ago. Um, my back is getting straighter every single time I do this, as well as every single time I do um, you know, my stiff leg deadlifts and other deadlifts, or when I just bend over. So... Like I said, filmed a few weeks ago where my hamstring issue was still present. So that's why my lower back looks so damn ugh. And also something you could try is flexing the core a little bit to kind of stabilize and straighten out the back when you're doing these downward dogs or even the uh, hamstring stretch that I just did. And once again, we're back to the repetitive stuff. Same thing. Um... Mountain poses, bend over, upward dog, downward dog. Now we're on to a move where you take your leg, lift it up behind you, and then as high as you can bring it, and then kind of 
turn your body to the side and look underneath your armpit while trying to reach far with that leg. Then we bring it to a hand or a foot between the hands hamstring stretch, basically the same thing as we did before. I then repeat this for the other side. What I really like about this routine is that all I have to do is just listen to uh, what the guy is saying and do it. Uh, and it's very, very, very relaxing. It's super easy for me to just focus on the now and on uh, my own present state of being. Some real spiritual shit, right? Some kind of meditation sort of feeling. Um, but that's really, really how it just relaxes me. That's also another reason why I like doing yoga at nighttime on a regular basis. So here is the next movement. This time the hamstring stretch, but reach, <laughs> I almost fell, reaching my hand up to the sky, trying to get it perpendicular to the ground. I believe this is called the triangle pose. And I'll do this for each side. Yep, I'll do this for each side. We'll fast forward through the other side triangle pose, as you can see, reaching far with my body, stretching the hamstring. Back to the repetitive stuff, downward dog, the forward bend, mountain pose, mountain pose, forward bend, upward dog, downward dog, and then here on to the next stretch, which is called uh, exalted warrior pose. And I just noticed I fast forward over the first part. This is the exalted warrior pose, back uh, bending over a, a lunge position, reaching high into the sky, back to the uh, repetitive stuff. As you can see, plenty of forward bends, mountain poses, uh, upward dogs, and downward dogs, which are held for quite a bit of time. And onto the next movement, which is called the back bend lunge lunging forward as you can see and I'm really pressing that back foot into the ground as well as my front heel into the ground really pressing the ankle into the ground in the back foot um, reaching high into the sky perpendicular to the ground and really uh, arching that back and then I'll do um, the other side if you want what you could take away from this video is uh, learning each pose if you wanted and doing them in your spare time, uh, listening to some nice slow music or uh, a soundtrack of like raindrops on tarp. I actually have an iPhone app for that. It's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the next actual stretch is the uh, pigeon lunge. You're basically just stretching and reaching far over a folded up leg. I'm on top of my quad, as you can see, and it really is just stretching out my glutes. It's really, really stretching out that glute of the front leg. This is actually one of the poses where sometimes I'll stop my DVD player or my computer and I will hold this position for an extra amount of time. Sometimes up to a few, a couple minutes, you know, on each uh, side. I really, really like the way this feels. Opens and it just stretches out my, my posterior, my glutes and so on. Got them Gymshark undies, ha. Huh? And we're back to some of the uh, repetitive uh, motions again. That downward dog, uh, forward bend, uh, mountain pose, forward bend to the upward dog and the downward dog. By now, I've probably held that downward dog for a good f few minutes. Uh, now is the uh, forward uh, uh, one-legged seated bend basically really stretching uh, the hamstring and kind of forcing a stretch upon it. Um, that leg is uh, to the side and the foot is really um, as near to my, my body as it can be. Um, and I'm just leaning forward comfortably, trying to place my head upon my leg right there, really stretching out my back. Uh, not pushing too hard, you don't wanna like breaks you don't want to rip any muscle but getting a really deep stretch in the hamstring and I'll hold this for a good amount of time and sometimes like I said I'll stop my uh, DVD player my computer for this stretch as well I also like doing this one uh, 
post-workout on my leg days. Most of the time I forget. But for a good amount of time during my contest prep, I was doing these hamstring stretches after every single uh, leg day and uh, making mad gains that way. Next movement is a uh, forward bend for the hamstrings, but over both legs, both legs completely out. And I'll try to basically push my head in between my legs and at the same time, I'm trying to keep my feet um, perpendicular to the ground, so straight up, because they will tend to flare out and turn outward. So I'll try to keep the nice and straight and pointed up and perpendicular to the ground, really stretching my hamstring, my back as well. I'll hold that for a good amount of time. The next pose is a uh, cobbler's pose, but bent uh, over, also stretching out the back and pushing my knees outward, opening up my crotch and my pelvic region. So trying to pull myself down, pulling myself, uh, holding onto my ankles, really stretching my back. Feels really good. We're approaching the end of this routine. Just a couple more things left. After this pose, I'll take each leg out to the side and uh, with my feet um, pointing upwards, I'll bend over for a really, really deep uh, hamstring stretch and also stretching out my back. I'll try to get as low as I can go. The guy on the DVD is freaking insane. Like his. His freaking, his head is on the ground. His torso is pra uh, practically parallel to the ground. Um, but me, this is about as much as I can go. And over time, I'm trying to, you know, open my legs even more and bend over even more. So it's, it's a work in progress as with anything. You get better at, uh, at this over time. And something that will also benefit you is uh, being very, just being aware of your posture throughout the day. For example, uh, when you're seated, which is already a kind of compromised position uh, when it comes to uh, mobility and flexibility. Um, be careful not to slouch over very much. And also when you're walking, when you're squatting, and when you're exercising, uh, the better form that you have, um, the more it will uh, be reflected when you're doing your yoga. You'll notice that you, uh, the more you have shitty form, uh, when you're just living life, you know, standing there or s sitting there or doing whatever, um, the harder it will be uh, as you're doing yoga. But with anything, you can work on your posture, you can work on your form, you can work on your yoga. So the last thing I do, uh, pretty much the last thing I do is uh, lift up my knees high into my chest and roll them over to one side, really stretching out uh, lower back with a twist. And also stretching out my chest since my arms are uh, completely sprawled out on the ground here. I'll fast forward through me doing the other side. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, a 25-minute routine after you finish up some meditation. Um, kind of just laying there and uh, f feeling one with yourself. Uh, it it's really crazy. Once you, If you've never done yoga before or uh, never really meditated, it's something worth trying because uh, you really, you feel different. You feel in such a way that, that nothing else makes you feel the same way. Um, it's not that, you know, say lifting weights isn't incredible. I love the way it feels, but just meditating and kind of um, thinking about nothing every once in a while is also very pleasing. It just feels good. So that's kind of what I'm doing here on the ground. I'm just just thinking about, I don't know, nothing really. Uh, just feeling whatever comes, whatever goes. Uh, not really thinking about anything specifically. So I'm kind of I'm kind of new to this meditation shit, guys. But uh, if anyone has any recommendations for, I don't know, books or whatever, podcasts, whatever it may be, definitely shoot them my way. Love to hear them. Um, I guess that's it for this video, guys. Once again, um, you know, I would straight up post the <laughs> Rod E thing, but obviously it's it's copyright and everything. Um, and uh, my best recommendation is pick up a yoga DVD uh, if this is what you're if what if it's what you're into. Otherwise, what you could do is write down all the different poses 
and memorize how to do them um, and uh, and just create your own routine. Do them in your spare time or whatever it may be. Obviously, you don't have to, but hey, try them out. It could be a really relaxing, uh, uh, relaxing time for you. I actually really look forward to my um, my yoga sessions where I just get to chill out for a good amount of time. And as you can see, I'm still on the ground. <laughs> so it's really relaxing. One thing I recommend is don't eat a big-ass meal right before doing this. I like to uh, set this for uh, an hour before going to bed. I'll do this, and then I'll you know read or chill for 30 minutes, uh, wind things down, and then go to bed. Uh, I've noticed that if I eat like a big-ass salad and a big-ass meal before doing this, it's really hard for me to do my hamstring stretches because my stomach is in the way. And it just makes it awkward and it doesn't feel right. So don't have a big ass meal before doing this, guys. Anyways, that's uh, basically the whole video. <laughs> I'm still on the ground. Holy shit. Anyways, uh, nothing really else to say. What's on my mind? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, leave a comment below. Love you guys. Peace. Hey, quit being a little bitch! Oh, his cake!